Hey guys, it's Miss Melissa, and I'm gonna teach you how to make a pinwheel clown today. So you're gonna need an assortment of colors of paper. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, a hole puncher, some type of glue, I have a glue stick, a pipe cleaner, Something to decorate with, I have an assortment of markers, but you could use colored pencils or crayons. And then I found a little roll of tape. I'm gonna make a circle a little bit later, and um, this is just what I was gonna use to trace to make one. All right, next, I'm gonna take my rectangle paper and I'm gonna make it into a square. So I'm gonna take this bottom corner, fold it up here, and make sure the edge is very nice and neat. So it's a pretty good square. And got a big triangle. I'm gonna cut off that extra little piece over here. Let's see it really well under the lamp. All right, so this is gonna be the big part of my pinwheel. I'm gonna save this scrap because I'm gonna need that for something later. All right, now, see I have a nice square. All right, the other thing I'm gonna do, because I have a nice fold down this side, I'm gonna fold it the other way. See how the fold goes this way right now? So I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna take this edge and fold it up here. There we go. Now, all right, next I'm gonna take my um, X shape and I'm gonna use those lines as a guideline. Take my scissors and I'm gonna start at the edge and I'm gonna cut right on that folded line toward the center, but I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna stop, leaving maybe about an inch, maybe a little less um, of that line because you don't wanna cut it completely up. This is gonna make the sides of our pinwheel. There we go. All right, so you can see it's still intact. All right, so now we do need to use the hole puncher, all right? I'm going to need a hole in the very center of this. This is um, where we're gonna make it to where it's actually gonna be able to um, spin. So I'm gonna fold my triangle and then I'm gonna put my hole puncher right in that center spot and I'm gonna cut it punch it like that. All right. Then I'm gonna open it up and then I'm going to do holes in one corner of each of my triangles and I wanna use the same corner. So I'm gonna do the right corner, my right corner. Now I'm gonna go up a little bit. I don't wanna go too close to the edge or it's gonna easily tear, okay? So if I do the right one each time, I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna go further in, and punch a hole on the right. Turn it again and just do it on the right. It is a pattern. Turn it and only do one on the right. Okay, so this is how it should look. So next I'm gonna take that scrap of paper that I had earlier, and I'm gonna fold it in half because I need two circles. So I'm gonna take my roll of tape and make a circle by tracing around it. Now I need to cut it out. Now, if I hold the paper folded together, you know that I will get two circles at one time. Okay. Two circles. I'm gonna hold them together. I'm gonna punch a hole in the middle of them. There. And we're gonna use those in just a little bit. Now we can start putting our pinwheel together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each of these corners that has the hole in it, and I'm gonna kind of curl it up here and make the hole 
meet up with that hole we made in the middle, okay? Now eventually these are all gonna go up there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these down just to kind of help them stay a little bit better. And it may take a little bit of pressure. Um, I'm putting glue on the opposite side I'm folding from so that it will be easy to stick down. See how I can hold that point down. All right, so now I'm gonna put glue on this side. And glue down this one. I'm gonna put a little pressure there. It's gonna take it some time to stick. And it may not stick great, but it'll help us until we need to put the rest of it together, and then we'll be okay. Right. I'm trying to hang on to it as I glue it because it will want to pop free. Okay, so now we've actually got a pinwheel shape. All right, I even put a little bit of tape on mine to keep it down. The one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna put any tape covering up the hole in the center, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're gonna run it through the hole, doesn't really matter which end, and I'm gonna add one of my circles to the front of my pinwheel, okay? Then, I wanna take my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna kind of ball it up in a nice big ball. Make a big blob of it. Just be careful, don't get stabbed by your the wire in it. What we wanna do is we wanna keep that from falling off, okay? All right, we're gonna put the other one on the back side. And that's gonna be what helps it to actually turn, okay, in just a little bit. All right, so I have a circle on the front, I've got my pipe cleaner all balled up, and then I've got a circle on the back. I was about to put my stick on, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my pinwheel like a clown first, and I'll have my stick last. But I did take the back of my, um, pipe cleaner and I balled it up too so that it's not too tight and not too loose because you want it to be able to spin, all right? And you may have to play with that part before you put the stick on, okay? So the idea is that this clown, these are arms and these are legs. So I'm gonna make some little hands and feet out of some of my scraps here. All right, so the hands and feet what I've done is I've taken a scrap and I've folded it in half and done that trick again like we did earlier with the circle. And I've drawn one foot on my page and then when I cut it out, I'll have two. I did the same thing with my hands already. And you just use whatever colors you have. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the clown feet. There we go. Now, I'm gonna use some of my scraps to make a clown face. And I'll show you where I'm gonna glue these on the pinwheel. All right, so I've glued my hands to two of the pinwheel um, blades and then the feet down here. Now I've made a little ball-headed clown face and I'm gonna glue it to the circle in the middle. We wanna be careful though, we don't want glue, we don't want it to stick to the actual pinwheels because we want those to still spin. And so we may have to play with the size of our clown face because if it's too big, it may interfere with the clown um, pinwheel spinning. As I was gluing the clown face down, it occurred to me it would probably be easier to tape it. So what I did was I taped to that circle and I put a lot of good tape so that the clown face is not gonna interfere with the spinning action. And it doesn't look like it's gonna do that. In fact, the face may spin a little bit. So again, you want the pipe cleaner part to be real loose so that this is free to spin. So now I'm gonna put mine on a stick and I may wrap my pipe cleaner around it this way and I may play with this a little bit to see 
how it's going to spin better. This little head's the wrong way. <laughs> Ooh. He is a spinny clown. 